guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about probably one of my favorite topics ever, and that's swimming. To be notified when I create new stuff, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I started swimming when I was seven years old, and initially my mom wasn't too keen on it. I came home from school with a flyer for the summer swim team, and slammed it down the front seat, and my mom was kind of terrified because my legs basically don't work, like hardly at all, and I'm gonna get in the pool, and I'm super tiny and seven years old, and I'm gonna die. But my mom contacted the swim coach, and she just told my mom to just calm down and let her try it, and we'll see what happens. And so she did, and the swimming was really bad at first. But eventually it got better and I've been swimming for 10 years now and I'm a whole lot better than I was then and I really enjoy it. Because my CP, my body doesn't exactly work like it's supposed to, my legs are the main problem. I can technically do the motion for kicks that aren't breaststroke, but they're not strong enough to help me right now and I can't focus on doing my arm and leg motions together. So notice how my legs kind of drag, which is both good and bad. It sort of throws my balance off and it's harder to keep my lower body afloat when they drag like they do. I really like being in the water because though I'm short and have to rely on my arms to keep me on top of deep water, I have much better balance because the water stabilizes my body. And you know, if I trip in the water and I'm standing up, gravity is not going to slam my face down into the concrete like it would on land. And swimming is also both mental and physical therapy for me. Though I may not be working my legs while I swim, I am always engaging my core, which does help my legs. Um, I've been doing summer swim team since I was seven, like I said, but it's not really helped me a whole lot. It's basically just kept me in shape enough until I started swimming year round this past year, and my body is so much stronger, and my rehab specialist even noticed that I was the best she had ever seen me because I've been swimming year round. Swimming also helps me relieve a ton of stress because I'm so focused on what I'm doing, and swimming is so rhythmic and pattern based that my day just gets so much better because I'm swimming, and I can kind of forget the world for a little bit. If you're a parent of a kid who has a disability, and any sort of disability whatsoever, swimming may be a great sport for them to do. And even though it doesn't seem like it, it's probably the safest and most beneficial for someone with any sort of disability to make them stronger and honestly just feel better about yourself because it's a sport anyone can do. So that's the basics of how I swim with a disability. If you want to know more about paraswimming or my classification or how I do starts and how I compete or how I became a state champion and a national record holder, please let me know in the comments. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. Bye!